I'm going to construct a parallelogram with the sides. So first I'm going to kind of just put a line down and I've got to make circles centered at A and B. So I choose the circle with center and radius and I arbitrarily pick a number. Three works for me. If three didn't work, I would try a circle with a different size, but it looks like three is decent. So I know that circle A and circle B have the same size. That's going to come in handy in a minute. Next, I'm going to make circles centered where those circles intersect that line. That's going to come in handy too. I'm going to kind of copy the angles. So first I've got to mark where they intersect. So I picked point and I picked intersect. And I want to see where they cross. So that line and that circle. So far so good. I'm going to go back to my circle. Now what you could do with the compass is you could measure the distance from D to A. And we could draw that circle. Additionally, you could use circle with center and radius because you already know the radius is 3, you picked it. I'm going to go compass just to show how a different tool is used. So I want to know this distance right here. And the compass tool says, hey, I can remember that circle if you ever want to draw the arc. I'm going to drop it right there. Same kind of deal over here. Click B and click F and I can drag the circle wherever I want. And I'm going to leave it right there centered at F. Now again, I care where things intersect. So I'm going to go back up to the point tool and I'm going to pick intersect and I care where this circle and that circle intersect. Same deal on the right hand side, those two intersect, point J. Now all the points I need are already there. What I can do though is I can draw the sides in, so I'm going to go to the line tool and I'm going to pick segment. Now just to show really clearly, I'm going to pick a different color and I'm going to pick a different line thickness. So it's really kind of obvious what I'm doing here. So side AH and side from J to B are congruent because they're both radii that come from congruent circles and they're parallel because all I did was copy the angle. If you see ADH, if I were to draw that in, and BFJ, same exact deal, they're the same size angles. I'm going to connect the opposite sides as well and AHJB is a parallelogram because I have two pairs of parallel congruent sides. 